All right, so we have a little too much mana at this point now because we've lost so many cards. All right, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19. So almost half our deck is mana. Let's go ahead and take out our green. Put the glasses back in. And we're getting ganged up on here. Get to the village, get to the village! We're not a magi. Alright, so here we go. We got Will of the Wisp a very good basically all-around wall. We're definitely going to take that. Go ahead and take the Muck Dwellers and the Swamp. Cursed Land really... Actually, Cursed Land is quite good. Maybe we should have put our money into that. Let's edit our deck, though, and see. Maybe we can sell off the cards that we have here. These we can get rid of. Wooden Sphere. And a Forest. So we're at 17, 18, 19. Probably get rid of these islands too. So right now we're basically at a draft deck. Got enough for that land, so let's go ahead and get that land. Or the land enchantment, rather. Alright, so we're shaping up pretty close to Mono Black here, which is exactly what we're after. Starting to feel a little more confident about it. We need a few more removal spells that would really push us over the edge. White Mage really wants to fight us. Really rather fight this knight. There we go. Sounds fine. It's gonna be a very difficult match for us, obviously. Right, we drew a little poorly here, but we'll have to play it through. We're going to keep the red in here. We're going to need to get a few more mountains, probably. Get this cursed land off, though. I mean, no matter what, they just start taking damage from it. It doesn't matter whether it gets tapped or not. So that's going to tick them down very slowly. There's what we would like. Nice bog imp to lead things off here. Turn light, but still pretty useful. Opponent stopped at three, though. Probably a scathe zombie. Yep. Let's attack with the Bog Imp. 
this point, we're just trading damage with each other. It'll be a lot better next turn when we play our Unholy Strength on Bog Imp. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have a flyer. Oh, he's got Swamp Block, though. That's going to be pretty good. He gets there. We are just not having any sort of luck whatsoever. What? I don't know what the fuck that means. All right, so we now actually, I, I don't even, I guess it doesn't matter how many cards you have in your deck. All right, so here's some stuff we need, but we're running a little low on food. Really like to have these Erg Raiders though. By the last of the food we can get, throw these Erg Raiders in, and we're gonna have to go pick a fight. Fight a druid. All right, so we got our Erg Raiders into an unholy strength, which will be really, really good. Having a 4-4 out there should be pretty good versus a green deck. Oh, that guy is basically a 2-2. Two -two. Obviously, it skips combat. Oh, darn it. We're going to take two here. I didn't realize I'd actually hit done past the attack step. That's really, really painful. It's going to give him a huge advantage, because now he can basically block both of our guys, or he can block our Erg Raiders and using the desert. Thankfully, use the desert this turn. Up oh, there we go. Pretty much just the kind of thing we were after. Gains a life off the asp. If I wanted to pay the one. Yeah. 
we have to attack or we die, so let's see if we win. He's probably got a fog, and that's why he didn't do anything. Oh, no, we got it! So we got a bunch of stuff we can sell off now. I'm sure we can take the cards. Let's go here real quick first. Let's sell these cards. Let's buy some more food. And now we can buy this extra swamp. I don't think we really want the scavenging ghoul. We'll take the dark ritual. Yeah, let's bring out... Bring out these Brothers of Fire. Swamp. Dark ritual. And take out orchestra artillery. I got a castle thing up here. Ooh, and there's a dragon there. I don't. Oh god, it's gonna chase us. Let's not go there. Oh, there we go, an elvish magi. Alright, so we're on the play again. Alright, so this hand should be pretty good. We got a Muck Dwellers. We got Scathe Zombies, so it's basically gonna go... Uh, Bad Moon into Scathe... And now we know we're going into Muck Dwellers as well. Or Merc Dwellers. that off for now. Our opponent's at three forests and hasn't done anything. Just now gets a Llanowar Elf. Still like the idea of playing the Merc Dwellers. Sending in the attack. Oh. Alright, so the deck's become a lot more efficient. It's still not good. I mean, we don't have power cards or anything, but... Alright, so we got Bog Imp. That's going to get by pretty much everything. Go ahead and throw that down. Let's go ahead and attack with both of these. I don't really care if we have to trade for the Mammoth. At the end of the day, that's a big winning trade for us. Big losing trade for him. It's gonna hurt our bug him. We're gonna play Scathe Zombies and Will of the Wisp. Alright, so opponent's in a lot of trouble at this point. You got an Elven Riders. That means we're probably going to lose our Ski Zombies when we swing in. Yeah. 
But we're not going to refrain from swinging in. Let's go ahead and drop our Herloon Minotaur here. Ideally, we'd like to get a better card than this. In the deck very soon. Alright, so we got another Elven Riders here. However, we're just going to send everybody in. It's going to put him at one. Our Will of the Wisp has him dead to right. Yeah. Yeah. 